I want to see what the next area is. I'm, I'm interested. I hope it's like different looking. Welcome back, Bear. My lord, everything here is quite chaotic. I still don't understand what's happening inside this place. But you were right. Some powerful. You are a weapon, child. You don't need to understand anything. Just destroy them. Yeah, yes, I'm sure you're. Lord. I'm sure you're a good I guy. I've already begun. If nothing else, one of them's destroyed. Yeah. Cool. Romy, could you give us a little more information on what's happening outside? Not to mention about this whole damn prophecy thing. Ergo Mundus, don't talk directly to me ever again. Your power may be necessary, but I don't need to discuss. I don't like talking to you. you. Oh, do you have a problem with me? Problem? Your mere existence is a problem, creature. Tame your beast, bearer of calamities. It is a necessary evil, but not one I must tolerate. Shut up, Ergo Mundus. That's an order. My Emotions are prohibited. No need. Now go. At least one more messenger is already inside this place. Destroy him. Here, take this. It may... Thank you for this default healing item. Yeah, I was also deconstructing Romeo Exert's name to see if it could spell something if it was all rearranged. Because, like, fuck, that's too deep. It's too real. Okay, so... What are our options now? Um... These things are still. These seals are. These seals are. Okay, one of the se what the one of the two pips is pipped. Um, this is the thirth whatever that'll we'll get fucking devastated if we go there. Oh yeah, we leveled up, didn't we? Launcher, like fucking surrounding area launcher, long range physical strike. Energy cutter, heaven's wrath. Magic mystery. Azrael's blessing increases defense and magic defense for 30 seconds. Aerial dodge allows you to dodge while you're in the air. That sounds so good! Let's go for combat mastery. Plus 10 to combat attribute. That sounds really good. Dodge roll in the air. Yeah, I'm getting that too. Uh, dive attack. Descending aerial attack. That sounds neat. I hope that's not just straight to the ground. Oh, it doesn't seem to be straight to the ground. Actually, maybe it does. Yeah, it is. That's a bummer. Oh well. Whatever, we got it. Uh, this is two, so that potentially, potentially something can be open there. So now we can dodge in the air. Oh, it like brings you to the ground instantly. That's fun. Not exactly what I was expecting, but... That's actually really practical. That might be unlocked. The door... The... 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 The, the button's flashing. Or not flashing, but it's lit up. Ooh! Cathedral of Araness. Oh my god, this is like so near. Oh shit. 
Oh my god, this is- guys, you guys realize how absurdly near influence this game feels? Back in the day, I wanted some as pets, but I never had the time Like, to look shut up. Sadly, I believe you. What is that? What is, what is that in the foreground there? What was that? I hit it, but it doesn't do anything. Oh yeah, air dodge makes you go straight down, that's true. <laughs> Fuck me. I'm just doing like Bayonetta and Legend of Korra and Transformers where you know, it pushes baby, you, you forward. Keep standing here much longer, I'm gonna have to get a oh my jacket. god, did you see how, how hard that juggled me? I lost almost all my life on like a juggle there. Yo, okay, but this game is so ambitious though, like shut up. Oh my god, they come back. Fuck that then. I do need to get these ones out of the way if I'm gonna fight the Hydra Queen who's right behind them. Like, I at least need to have a clear passage to fight. I have no more healing items. Yeah. Whoa, this is tough. Standing here much longer, I'm gonna have to get a dust jacket. It's a tough video game. If I just stay in this corner, it should be good. Damn it. Wait, I can just- oh no, I can't leave, okay. Okay, I think we got it though. Really hard to hit that one. Oh, 
Yeah, you're right, she does lose a big tip of health every time you kill one of those. But I feel pretty comfortable fighting it like this at this point. This bottom one's a fucking pain to fight, though. Oh, we got it. Okay, cool. Oh my god, we have enough for the paper, by the way. So we need to, like, teleport back once we find the teleportation room and buy that paper. Buy that sheet. Get that information. Get those secrets. It's not often that a game just lets you buy secrets. Those statues... Lady Ellie and I? She sure is popular. Wow, was that a joke? Shut up. Big old cathedral area? Oh! Lady Ellie and I. Hi, bearer of the annoying book. I'm glad to see you again, safe and sound. Seek, seek, lest. How are you, Ellie? The last time we saw you, you seemed to be in some kind of trouble. You and your ass. Worried? No. I know how difficult you are to kill firsthand. And everyone knows that it took a manifestation of hell itself just to knock you out for a while. Lady Ellie and I. Lord Romeo Exet was able to contact us. We have our orders. All our forces are outside. While we need to destroy... So the outside is just surrounded by an army, is my interpretation Little here. Little Romeo is involved, too. Oh, this is as serious as I thought. He thinks that it is the prophecy, right? The one that my sister foretold. The messengers of the end. If that's the case, it means that once all of them are reunited, it would trigger the end of the world. But something is wrong. I feel it. I will try to talk with Romeo, if I'm able to manifest myself outside. Okay, cool. Why are you in this place? Honestly, I have no idea. My manifestations are too... chaotic. Once I've regained enough strength, I will manifest again in the center of the core room, and from there, I will try to explore other places. Cool. Do you know anything about the- As far as I know, cathedral. I think that this is the Cathedral of Arenas. I also don't know anything about the messenger who could be linked to this place. What I can tell you is that Arenas was controlled by magic codes. If you want to move around- Oh shit, is it gonna be another series Do of codes? Okay. I Same dialogue. Oh look, there's a fucking- is that gonna be important? Let me just screenshot it just in case. Yo, look at these enemies. New enemies. New enemies that have the ability to block. Yo, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You can do, like, instant launcher cancels. I don't know that it's practical in the context of this game, but you can do them. Oh yeah, it is practical. Hang on, hang on. There's totally practical.
God, your range is so short. Yo, got rejuggles. Looks like another one of these lo locked doors. Oh no, it's not locked at all. Oh, it's just traps. Prison key though. Worth it for the prison key. Bone katana. I saw they were selling this in the store. I'm gonna get the paper scrap as soon as we can go back to the store. Don't worry, guys. I got you. I'm gonna focus him on melee combat. Because he's the boy character. Can you climb this? Oh, it looks so close to being climbable. Hmm. Okay, I'm a little unclear on what that does. Some sort of strange energy. Energy, excuse me, I can't speak. Music's not bad in this area. It's a little bland, but like the chorus is nice. Come on, where am I illusory? There's clearly a room back there. Look on the map. God, where where, where are illusory illusory doors? If we lower the camera down here, it looks kind of stylish. Oh shit. If you clip the camera out of the wall, it doesn't look that stylish. <laughs> go up there now. Oh shit, there's that thing too. God, you know, if they switch, if they shouted their names when they switched, it would be so fucking dope. You're super right. Charlotte Jonathan, Charlotte Jonathan. It would be so dope. There's a symbol on top of that door. I screenshotted it. Even though that pops up late, it actually takes a screenshot right as you press the button, so. Where are we going? Where am I going? You know, we can try to hit switch. Let's see if this opens up shit. I remember the switch didn't have a clear answer. That door's closed. But is that wall open? No, it's closed as well. This wall was kind of open. That looks so accessible. Oh, there's just... So we have... So I can load back to the last checkpoint. I fucking told you guys. <laughs> We'd get it eventually. be fucked now. I might need to reload. Oh yeah, we fucked good. That's the thing about going out of world, is like when you, you, just, you just get fucked. Oh shit. Oh wait, I'm from here. Okay, okay, okay. We can go back out there though. That was like really, really easy to get out of world there. 
Like, that was not even a challenge. He says as he can never do it ever again. Yeah, it's super easy. Oh shit, fuck, we fell back into the loading zone to go back. I wanted to go to a different loading zone. That's like explicitly the wrong loading zone. I just want to jump over the over the wall, the illusory wall, which might fuck us really hard. But I want to do it. That's the risky thing about bugs is you can really fuck yourself. Like super hard. But the payoff is so great. Look, there's another code here behind this door or next to this door. Do all those doors have codes by them? They all do. She told us about the codes. This is one of the symbols. It's so easy to get out of world there. Like, what a joke. I could spend forever doing this. I find this stuff so satisfying. Like, I find this stuff really, really interesting. And, uh... It's just fun to do, I guess. Can I go that way? Oh, yeah. Speed strats. We'll be able to make it through. I think this this collision might be might be. Ah, no, I don't know. I don't think we can make it through. I think the cameras. Uh, I think the the collision is pretty thorough there. There might there might be a way, but the camera like when you jump down, the camera control gets taken away from you. Like it tries to do like a fixed camera thing. Oops. Wow, way to go. If you're watching this on YouTube and you're bored by this part, I'm sorry. This is this is the rest of the LP. I think we got it. I think we're in. I think we just I think we just teleported. I think we just walked through the door. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have Now the true question is how fucked is our save file? Cuz that that might have just completely fucked the save file the whole thing that may have just actually completely fucked the save file the door's open yo 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 okay okay that's a that's a legit sequence break that works i don't know if it's actually worthwhile because you still need to get three memories but that works. I wonder if it opened up any other doors.
Like, I wonder if, if being in there, like, skips a value up and just unlocks all the doors that would be unlocked on the way up to that value, you know? This thing doesn't seem to be examinable anymore, so maybe the thing that this thing does was triggered. Let's see, that door's shut, that door's shut. Are we on world record pace? Maybe. That door's... This door's open! <laughs> A-OK! -okay. People say everything that inhabits the world has a destined fate long before it exists. If that's true, there was a reason why Ramatech UI Del Lux would never know the relaxed life that was meant for him as the eldest child of a noble family of the highest rank. He was just four years old when he was sent by his father to the Cathedral of Aranus. For centuries, the ancient building... Yeah, I want to know how much that broke. ...of some of the most important... Maybe not a lot, but maybe a little. ...unique lineages maybe a little more than this. with exceptional qualities. The cathedral was not an academy, nor anything similar. Its inhabitants could never leave the premises. Once there, those great doors would never let them leave. The children, and of course Ramatek, would take a long time to understand the reason they were held there. Aranus was unique, perhaps the most important place in the world. It was a cathedral in name only. No worship took place there. It was a prison for a creature that none of them could understand. That's kind of cool. Uh, baby, there's something I have to tell you. That's a stupid joke. There's a library That's a card fucking stupid me. joke. And I'm long overdue. <laughs> Just shut up, please. Yo, look at this room we're about to enter. I want to check real quick. That was chapter one, okay. So we're not crazy out of sync. That's a Nexus Guardian, babe. Keepers of primordial supernatural cores. I wonder what it could be protecting. Damn it, no launch. So you have to counter this guy, like, right after his attacks. Okay, 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 we can do a good combo. Okay, we can do a better combo than that. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I need more stamina, though. Oh, fuck, he flipped out. He flipped out midway in the air. Yeah, he flips out. Damn it, I thought I could do good combo. Oh my god, we actually don't have any other healing items. Damn, 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 damn. Ah, oh, that sucks that he flips out and you don't get to do good combo. That's a Nexus Guardian, babe. Keepers of primordial supernatural cores. I can at least do middling combo. Oh, you know what? I could probably do a gooder combo. I could probably do gooder combo. Damn it. We can, we can do better combo. No, 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 once he starts falling, you can't relaunch him. Damn it. 
We might just have to do boring combo. Yeah, you can't. Can't do it. Boring combo. Two, three. Oh no, only two and then a launcher. One, two, launch. One, two, three. One, two, launch. One, two, projectile? That does more damage. Oh, that does more damage. Using using your get in move. We got it. Okay, we can only do sufficient combo. We can't do advanced combo. <laughs> Someone said sufficient combo. Nice. Good shit. Unexceptional combo. Boring combo, decent combo, predict a combo. But linked to the seals of this place. Add the formula to our magic. With any luck, it'll resonate. Oh yeah, those seals. Right, right, right. We've seen a few of those. Maybe we'll be able to activate them now. Yeah, I'm trying to do SSS in a game that only goes up to B. That's a really good way to put it. That's what it feels like. Damn it! This is really fiddly to move around. So I can get this. Earth Rising? Nice. I just got Earth Rising, which is L2. That seems like it could be useful. Let's use some attack spells on that thing, baby. Any of them will work. I just triggered enemies in the hallway. I did. I guess I should take care of those enemies, shouldn't I? stand on enemies' heads. That brings Table Hopper to a whole new level. I was standing on enemies' head for a second there. I don't know how I did it. But I was totally standing on his head. It's fucking dope. So this thing, though, we never really got an answer. Oh, oh, I see what we did. It was a barrier, and we turned off the barrier. Oh, uh, I see. Okay, it's not, it's not actually that drilling. We were actually progressing perfectly normally there. Okay, well, that's, that's a new progression ability, so. Look at that hole in the ceiling. I bet you can go through that hole in the ceiling, too.
You have to land on that statue if it's possible. If it's possible to land on that statue, it's possible to get in that ceiling. It seems really either hard or impossible to land on this statue, though. Yeah, I'm inclined to say it's not possible to land on this statue. Which is a bummer, because then that ceiling would be totally get-throughable. But I think the collision on this is like, um, like a, like a pyramid. So I don't think there's any getting through there. Yeah, that was my actual job. It was really fun. Pause and then jump again. Yo, you know what? You're totally right. I should try pausing and jumping. Hit go to main menu. Fuck you guys. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, thank God. Yeah, no, it doesn't do anything. No, it doesn't do anything. That could have been really bad, depending on where it put us, though. If that had put us back at, like, the last manual save, it would have been really bad. How bad? Really bad. We haven't manual saved in a while, so... still haven't worked out either. Oh my god, there's another one up there. Holy shit, we're gonna work it out. Oh, there's another one up there. We actually did it. That's, 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 this is how you're actually supposed to progress. Hey, baby. Just a Look reminder, at that item all the way up there. The view from back here is great. No buts about it. This is kind of a cool area. Oh my god, you gotta follow the platforms. Can you just like go along these rocks? No, okay, they did they did test for that.
Yo, this area is not bad. This area is not bad. Yo, this area is not bad. Yo. Yo, that's a pretty that's That's a pretty good room. That's a pretty good room. As a child, he found it truly difficult to understand why he should devote his whole life to becoming a jailer. the jailer, huh? He cared little that the prisoner The prisoner capitalized the entity could bring about the end of the world. How could Ramatech want to protect a world that he had not even been able to know? All of these concerns were at the forefront of his mind while he was driven with the other children to the inner containment chambers. When the huge sealed doors opened, Ramatek beheld for the first time the appearance of the prisoner. It was a huge lump of meat that did not even remotely resemble a humanoid form. He had read that it was the remains of an ancient deity, the body of an unholy god who died trying to reach the world. That's cool. Fuck, I didn't start going early enough. I think I'll be fine, but... The landing lag is brutal. Yeah, we're fine, though. Yo, this was a real room, though. This was a real room. It was actually pretty fun. Like, like good platforming challenge. Oh, it's one of those fuckers again. Skill out. But I'm out of, out of stamina. Out of stamps. The marionettes, by the way, are not infinite. They're not infinite in any area. It'll just be a pain to fight the Dullahan without getting rid of the marionettes, I feel. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I should just fight the Dullahan. Oh my god. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Rope it up, dope. I still want to find the fucking teleporter so we can find the secret before I go to bed. It's getting fucking late, by the way. We've been streaming this game for like 12 hours now. About 12 hours. About 12 hours we've been streaming. About, about 40 hours we've been streaming. We've been streaming this game all week. We haven't stopped. Yeah, I also feel compelled to check out the tabletop game. Do you know anything? No, she I still has only the same stuff, same stuff to say. There's still these symbols on the wall too that we never really sorted. 
they are the symbols that correspond to the icons, but... It's, uh, 2.50 a.m. right now. Yeah. Oh, Flame Fist, you're in Quebec. Cool. Didn't realize. Can I climb that? Yeah, I need to know what's on that scrap of paper, too. I'm, I'm... It's gonna, it's, dude, it's gonna be nothing. Like, our hopes should be on the floor. Because, like, if, if, if a stranger comes up to you and says, I can sell you a secret on this scrap of paper... I don't, I don't see why you would expect an anything from that. You're just asking to be disappointed. So these are the only switches that I can see we have access to right now. That door doesn't really help still. Oh God, I don't know how you get up there either. I know your sequence break. No, that doesn't get you there because the roof is in the way. <laughs> it almost gets you there, but not quite. I can't find any other switches because there's like... Okay, this one is the... Uh, forgive me if you actually know the names of these symbols. The little number four and then the like upside down like female gender symbol. And then a little triangle. But it's like, that is these three symbols. What did I do different that time? Oh, it's the order you hit them in. It must be the order you hit them in. Okay. I In my mind, it was uh, like, like you hit them and they become active. It wasn't reliant on order, so yeah, it must be order you hit them in. For some reason, I totally didn't interpret it as order you hit them in. But whatever, we got it now. Also, literally only staying awake for the paper, I agree. I'm going to sleep right after we get the paper. Oh my god, turn around. Lock onto the actual threat. Oh my god, they're mixed in. Oh, they hit other enemies too, shit. Well, let's just lure them a little. There are no other enemies, though. Oh my god, that does so much damage. What if the paper is a cipher? Yeah, I think a cipher, that would be one of the few things that would actually, like, live up to the excitement. And curiosity. The mad curiosity. What are we putting these little gaps? Just put boxes in each gap. Alright. Just put boxes in every little gap along the wall. Okay. It's a good way to fill space. Boxes. Oh shit, we do it again. This is fun though. Like, this is actually like... Kind of fun, these platforming sections. The, the, the mansion area was a little bit bland, how it was like constantly like just look at... Uh, like, look at documents until you figure it out. Like, these platforming sections are actually really fun. <sighs> that fucking trap. Another strong impact shook the central structure of the cathedral. The attack was more powerful than the previous one which meant it was just a matter of time until they would surpass Aranus's mystical defenses. Somehow, 
These creatures had discovered the existence of the sanctuary and its prisoner. Those who lurk in the shadows had lost their leader not long ago, and they probably that fucking knife that trap is such a fucking shit trap up there. Them to rise against the fuck. wall for a second time. Ramatek had lived his whole life within these walls. Despite his childish reticence, he had come to love them as much as he loved all the people who were at his side. It was ironic that only now, when everything was in danger, he realized his true feelings. The priest was not a normal person and was perfectly trained. Acting swiftly, he went to the chambers where the prisoner was locked and began diverting part of the supernatural power of the seals to the external protections of the building. It was a risky move, but would allow- Yeah, write down the names, it'll be on the test. You're totally right, Pride of Fiddles. Just an instant before the system We will was quiz you. A huge explosion destroyed the entire cathedral, causing the whole place to come down, crushing Ramatek and everything around him. Poor Ramatek. Oh! Nice. Look at that fixed camera angle. God, that feels so Devil May Cry. God, this fixed camera angle feels crazy Devil May Cry. Crazy. So this is just the other door. I guess they both unlocked at the same time. Oh shit, more fights. These things didn't attack last time we saw them. They're actually kind of dangerous when they're close to them. Maybe staying away is the right answer, because you do fair amounts of damage. Yeah, that would be pretty slow. Just one at a time, then. No lock on, it's actually better for fighting them. The lock on makes your, your camera way, way too erratic for these guys. Maybe with just one it'll be fine. I don't know. Yeah, if you if you meet them in the air, you interrupt their dive, so they don't even have a they don't even have an option. So that's fine. We found three, by the way. So we can probably go to the boss if we wanted to. We never found we've never found the fucking teleporter back though. Like, were there even other doors? This area is a lot smaller than the mansion. It's the garden, the atrium. Oh. Hang on. I'm pretty sure on the outer wall there was a room. There was a the place we could have gone. Pretty sure. But otherwise we've got our three documents so we can we can fight boss. Flip the switch. Oh, there we go, there we go! Terrified, Ramatek tried to move, but his body was trapped by debris. Above him, the bloody meat mass of the prisoner, impaled by some broken columns, writhed and twisted, tearing its flesh. 
The blood of the creature began to spout from its wounds, and Ramatek could only watch helplessly as it slipped between the fallen stones towards him. After a few seconds that felt like a lifetime, the blood spilled over his face and ran down his forehead to reach the corners of his eyes. Blinded, the priest screamed in pure horror until everything fell silent. When he opened his eyes, the world was not the same anymore. In an instant, the rocks that blocked his body became ashes, and the dark form of the priest rose between them. What stood there was no longer a person, not even a mortal being. Ramatek looked at what was left of the prisoner. None of the priests of Aranus ever understood the truth. That was not a god, only discarded remains. Confused, the priest went to the door, exterminating both the attackers and all the survivors on his way. For him, none of them were people anymore. He saw only blots on the moon. Yo, this fucking god. Those traps, God. Yeah, is Vati watching? Like shit, man. Sleeping on the job. Seriously, this is where it's at. Dark Souls Three DLC, Schmark Souls Three DLC. This is bullshit. Who cares? My health is almost full, but let's just bump it up. See so yeah, we just never found a teleporter in this area for some reason. Like, just this mysterious wall. And I think that was all the- oh look, and there's the last info thing is up there. So possibly we can only get up to there later. Possibly. There's no way we're getting to that via the roof. Oh. Oh no, it is solid. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Shucks, what a shame. Yeah, that's that's gonna need some legit legit skill to get to. Oh yeah, the switches were in order. That's true, that's true, that's true. Fuck me. I'm stupid. Remember earlier when I said I didn't realize the switches were in order? Yeah. Well, look at that. It's fucking striking me back. Uh, four... Uh, symbol, symbol, triangle, four. Okay. Fuck me. I'm a stupid idiot. Doesn't remember the order thing. God damn it. How far do I think we are in the game? Not, not that far. I think we're like less than halfway. Is that not the correct order? Four, small symbol, triangle four. I bottom the top after them. The bottom of the top would be this one.
Are you serious? There were platforms? Are you fucking serious? I did do it the first time. And there were just platforms that appeared silently? Fuck me. Are you serious? Or you, 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 you... We just hit, we can hit symbols all day. You know what, we can, we can find out. We'll, we'll find out the exact order. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna discover this. This game, this game is requiring observational skills we didn't know we had. Actually, it's fucking, it's way easier to use the, the trim function to watch stuff. It's so much easier. I, I don't think you're crazy, Flame Fist. Let's just, let's find out the order of the... Button presses. Oh! There they are. So we went that one, this one twice, then this one, then that one again. Was there like a little cut there? It looked like there was like a little cut. Explicitly the wrong order. <gasps> Platform spawned right around here, right? Oh, they spawn over there, so they need you to use the, the gap in the wall. So they give you time to get over to the gap in the wall. Bummer. Okay, cool. It's quite a ways until they spawn. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. That's explicitly the wrong order as well. Yo, Ren, we're playing Anima. This game is dope. This game is way better than it has any right to be, but it's also way worse at the same time. Ah! They tricked me! It's on the same spot. That's so hard.
This is such a dicey platform section. Like, they require some pretty large jumps. This is the hardest one. This is the hardest one by far. Like, that's a fucking wide jump. Look at that shit. It has been ten years since Ramatek left Aranus. After what he considered his awakening. Am I going to play Dead Cells? Yeah, maybe one day. It looks pretty cool. The dark priest stared at the ruins around him. His eyes perceived everything as only he could. An environment in which the material and the spiritual world formed a swirling chaos. That abomination was something that Ramatek had learned to hate. And its mere vision upset him so much that with a slight fit of rage, he destroyed what remained of the central chamber of the cathedral. While fragments of the walls fell around him and turned to ashes, the priest wondered again how he could have been so blind his whole life. Like a thousand times in the past, he silently thanked his god for blessing him, for opening his eyes to the truth. Existence was a sin. The whole creation must disappear. That absolute truth, which only he understood, had become his gospel, an intrinsic part of his own nature. The world, in its folly, would consider him insane and would try to stop him, but they could not. Nothing could. Someday, he would awaken the only god. Someday, the whole existence... Yo, Shin Madrox, you forget what PSP that games look like. His destiny. This looks like a slightly better Vita game, to use your words. This, like, PSP games look way, like, a billion times worse than this. Yeah, this this whole this this church area was. Uh, I wanted to see what happens if you fall off. <laughs> this church area was significantly smaller than the mansion. Not even close. Two more. One more. Uh, gun tanks in space. Yeah, this was not actually a Vita game. I wish it was though. I would have played it on Vita. No, this is above PS2 era too, guys. This is this is PS3 graphics for sure. The level design and stuff, sure, it, it totally feels PS2 era, but the actual fidelity of the graphics is firmly PS3 forward. And there's aspects of it that are even too much for that. Yo, you gotta, Doug Rayman, you gotta lend me whatever PS2 you're using. Babe. I know. It's him again. It's too late for Ramatek. I have already destroyed it. You won't be able to reclaim it now. Oh yeah, it's so not malicious. Yeah, they all. do have a similar kind of look. Malicious did come out on Vita, yeah. Who are you? Are you one of the messengers? You are the ones who call me that. But yes, I suppose that you could say that I am one of them. Are you the one behind all of this? The one who brought us to the tower? Maybe. Maybe you really don't know anything. Maybe you are just This guy's voice guy. acting is fucking abysmal. But even then, it doesn't matter. Like you worse than anyone else. Your world won't be saved. You monster. Enough. We don't have time. This place won't hold itself much longer without Ramatek around. You leave her out of this. I'm sorry. I know that you want the cool guy spot in this drama. You even brought your own attire. Nice coat, by the way. But the role. God, his dialogue is fucking awful. Dark Messiah. I'm afraid that. Oh, uh, these two should never be allowed to talk together. You really don't know who you are messing with, boy. Let's end this. Your story. Yeah, we already fought him a little bit, so we have some experience in this fight.
I assume this is gonna be another, like, unwinnable fight. I don't know. How much damage that did? Holy shit. I'm gonna get a stamina as a real pain. You can't do anything when you're at a stamina, like, you just have to stop attacking. Yo, clutch. Oh no, he's still fighting. <laughs> it's so abrupt! Let me, uh, adjust my gear. Fuck, stop doing that. I at least have one long combo that I can do. Sometimes. Not that time. Like that combo. Getting both characters in the combo really gets a lot of damage out. Those come out of nowhere, man. And, like, I'm out of stamina, so I can't do anything. <laughs> Should I try jump-ins? No, jump-ins are not a good idea. Like, shit, am I actually under-leveled? I could try using magic more.
is actually like not a terribly unfun fight once it starts getting going. Like once you get his shit down. And that, that dash in move is actually really fun to use. This thing. That like auto dashes you in without having to do anything. that damage? That's hard. That's hard. That's hard with only with only one item. With only one item. Only one item that's quite hard. I have a life fragment. There, okay, so I have some better healing items. Which I can equip. But I think I think I got it with, with these items. I should I should got it. Ah! <laughs> 
could launch though. Never dodge that last one. goes a little fucky there. Nice. Got him with a projectile. Whew. This place. Phew. It can't hold itself together anymore. You were saved by the bell, pal. And so... The story goes on for you, just a little more. Girl, you should wonder if you really want to become an instrument of salvation. What? Yeah, we might be able to beat him at the other place already, that's true. It's totally possible. First we got plot, then we got paper. The dream becomes more lucid. The little girl is inside the huge room. There's nothing there. Only a strange book, hanging from the walls wrapped in old chains. Everything has become silent outside. And for a moment, the child thinks that maybe she's finally found a safe place to hide. But she also feels that she is not alone. Slowly, the little girl extends her small arm towards the book. Darkness. Wrath. Loneliness. Everything that fills the place comes from it. And she feels that that book is also lost. Before her little fingers reach the cover, 
The sound of the door opening behind her makes the child freeze in terror. Some sort One of, monster? of them has found her. Yeah. And again, the dream becomes a nightmare. <laughs> Good morning, PK something. Again? This is becoming repetitive. Yeah, it's losing its head. Are you okay, baby? You can bet it was bad. You were in it. <laughs> That's the speed. So, just so you guys can always prepare yourself, this is just going to be disappointing. So just please remember, this is only going to be disappointing. Uh, don't hype yourself up. Oh, we can buy a prison key too. Buy eight. So just, please remember, this is only going to be disappointing. It's not these. It's the name. It's the name. It's the true name. We did it. It was the true name. All of this just for that. It was the true name. The name was true. All along. It's the true name. It was the true name. This form We've I uh, we found the true name. We got a bracelet. It gives you more experience. All that for a bracelet. Blood. We got a bracelet. It 
was the true name. This is Rubidus. Rubidus Hagrid. True name gave us a bracelet. <laughs> I'm also glad you didn't tell me the solution earlier, daytime feeling. <laughs> this was all worth it. This Truly, it was a bracelet. We're still... We're still missing the last, uh, the last memory from this area, too. That just never materialized. Maybe the paper has a cipher. <laughs> You're right. Maybe we haven't maybe we haven't inspected the paper thoroughly enough. Maybe it has many more meanings. I can't equip it and I can't use it. Oh. Oh. This mansion is Nascal's workshop. The messenger in this place, he created such genius. I think that somewhere in the mansion, there was a picture of my sister titled Grimoire. It seems that we that's are how really you're supposed to figure out that one. We brute forced that one, but that's how you're supposed to figure it out. This girl just tells you that one. I think that that's kind of neat, actually. I like how I like how there's like a lot of different ways to, to find solutions to them. <coughs> oh, that sneeze got me good. Seals the really fuck powerful. is this? The fuck is this corner? Oh shit, look at this. A war core. Oh, it just makes you strong for a bit. Oh. How do we how do we sequence break through this? Yeah, the stream should have the mind break tag. You're you're totally right, Neatly. Totally. No getting up on there. Doesn't look like like you'd have to get up there to do anything of substance. But I don't think that's happening. This feels so much like Darksiders 2 in regards to like finding bugs and stuff. Like, it's fucking ridiculous. Whenever we play Darksiders 2, I'll, I'll... Well, I'll show you guys bug things that used to be bugs. Unfortunately, they got fixed, so... That's not bad. Ooh, a 
that feels so close to going over. You can see it for like a few frames. How the character's like, has to get slid back a little bit. That feels so close to doable. That feels so close to something. That feels like something, man. There used to be a bug in Darksiders 2 that froze the game if you exit an area too quickly. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually familiar with that bug, yeah. There's, there was a lot of, like, streaming bugs in Darksiders 2. That like if you tried to go out of world, you could try to stream it. You could stream areas in too quickly, and cause crashes. Um, I mean, they fixed like a large percentage of them, but it's like a deep engine bug. Uh, no, if you if you call ergo in the air, you just do a down attack. It just turns into a down attack. I think the actual question is, um, are there any power ups that give us more air options? There's Heaven's Wrath, which I don't think will do anything. Heaven's Wrath. I don't think that'll help us in any way. But we got it. God, that one feels so close, but I, I I don't know if it's gonna happen. They might have they might have put too much work into making that making sure that one doesn't work. Heaven's wrath. Yeah, don't think this one's gonna happen. It's a bummer. I'd love to get past that barrier early. Oh well. I mean, that's, that's most collision issues in games. You look at it for like 20 minutes and you say, there's a collision issue here. And then you're, you come away from it going, there was no collision issue there. This is like, that's the QA experience as well. Is like, oh, there'll be a bug here. And then like 40 minutes later, you're like, oh, there was never a bug there. <laughs> there was never going to be a bug there. I just thought maybe, so... Bummer. Bummer. We could have had something. If there was a way to jump a little higher, that would that would kill it. But yeah, this game is airtight. Yeah, basically. Also, you can't like do anything off your uppercut. You can't double jump in the air after you've done it. You can attack in the air, but you don't. You can't do another jump out of it. Oh shit, we got eleva- oh, Fuck! Damn it, I just wanted to unlock the elevator. Now we're committed to playing for like another okay? ten hours. This feeling... It's the same as when we were pulled into this place for the first time. Look around. If this tower is really made of memories, then this land doesn't belong to anyone. Oh shit, I can't leave. Oh wait, I can't leave. Wait, I can't leave. In the silence. Fuck, we got committed too hard. In the void. Oops. It is you who has called me. Again. Who am I? Mistakes were made. Lessons were not learned. Why? This is the same. Oh, look at this fucking near. Oh shit. Virgil with his summon swords. Oh 
God, I can't fucking hit anything. What is happening? I don't understand what's going on. It's neat how those dialogue boxes can just go over gameplay. It's kind of cool. It's not sarcastic, actually. It's kind of cool. Resets the skill tree. Dang. It's a good item. Seraphim, we named it after an angel, so it's all biblical and shit. I was gonna say, I was, I was just trying to change, but I was too committed. Oh, wow. Wowie, wow, wow. You know what? That's fine, though. That's fine. That's fine. That's totally fine. I'm so okay with that. Fool. It's still not, not good yet. Not cooked. So you freed me after all. I am sure you want to know what is happening, World Walkers. What is this so-called tower? And maybe... I can give you the end. Come. Seek me. I will be waiting in the darkest corridor. The darkest corridor of a holy place. Should be one more around. This guy's still nothing. And there's her, but I don't want to talk to her now because it'll be plot. I would have sworn there was one more I unlocked. The bloody guy. Yeah, 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 I unlocked the bloody guy. I don't know. Let's do that manual save. This is neat, the, the talking. Like, that you can, like, chat with your character when you save. Is that it? That's saved? Right? There's no save icon. I feel like that's, like, a TRC violation. I feel like that's, that's wrong. Know? Yeah. There, were, there should be a fucking I save icon. I you it's fine, I don't want to listen to this conversation. I Nothing else to save. Was the key worth it or the paper? Yeah, totally. Worth it enough. Oh, well, that's, um, that's our first... That's our first sit down with Anima. Heated memories. We are gonna do a full LP. It's gonna be a mandatory fun time. We're gonna have a mandatory good time. Um, yeah. It's really. Kind of a crazy game. It's like a total mess of a game, but it's kind of satisfying and interesting to like to see firsthand and like go through. So I'm I'm, I, I'm actually looking forward to continuing that. That's good. Beat the game on the climax. Finish the game obtaining the worst ending. Finish the game obtaining the bad ending. Finish the game, obtaining the true ending. Finish the game, obtaining the early ending. Obtain the joke ending. It's called Just Too Competent. That must be beating What's-His-Face Nameless immediately or something like that. The Secret Boss. New Game Plus. Oh, 
Holy shit. Holy shit. Yo, we've got a game to play for a while. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be playing this for a little while. Shit, damn. Um, uh, Yoda Jr., yes, I do have an archive channel. Uh, you can see it linked just below on Twitch. But if you just want to Google it, it's just Rising Superstream on uh, YouTube. Um, it's super good. Most everything is up. The only thing that's not up right now is, of course, Anima and uh, Outlast. No, none of the Outlast is up right now, unfortunately. But it should be up tomorrow, actually. Oh, so, we'll continue this next time. And eventually, we'll get all five endings. Can you believe it? So we have to get all five endings before card game month. We have only, we have a scant 18 days. This is a 30-day month. I think this is a 30-day month. No, a 31-day month. We have a scant 19 days minus today, so, hey. We have a small amount of time to get all five endings. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We should be able to. We're good at video games. And we're better together. The true anima was the friends we made along the way. So. Pardon me for being tired as fuck. It's hard not to help it. Like we started streaming at 9 p.m. last night, so it's been seven hours and it's four in the morning. My girlfriend's gonna wake up in six minutes to go to work because she works. Uh, I shouldn't say I shouldn't say where she works. She she works a really early early shift. So like yeah, she's gonna wake up in four minutes. She's gonna be like you were awake all night. Yeah, babe. Adam is amazing. You gotta play this game. Whew. So. Big ups to Apocalypse Pony, Chris Doom, Charlie2158, So Thunder, Kill Scott Kill, Le Le Lemon Lime Scrub, that's a good name, uh, Eastern Stealth, and McGruddles, McGruddles for your subscriptions. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, you guys all know the spiel. This, this, is, this is what keeps me going, so uh, I really do appreciate it. Thanks very much. And I, you know, thank you everyone for tuning in. I uh, hope you guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Anima Gated Memories. Oh, and Outlast 2. And Outlast 2 as well. If you've been up for, like, the last four hours, you might have caught some of Outlast 2. Because we, we did, rumor has it, we did play a little bit of that as well. So, you know, hey. Hey. Am um, I going to get guests on stream again? Yes, I absolutely am. Um, I'm going to update... So, uh, I'll tell you the first one right now. Um, I'm going to update the stream schedule tomorrow. Should be tomorrow it's updated because it it desperately needs updating. Um, you can see plain and simple that like it is out of date as of today because Outlast 2 and Kingdom Hearts are finished. So I'm gonna update the stream schedule tomorrow and it's gonna be filled in with some new games. Uh, but also uh, on the 26th, I was streaming a game with an unannounced guest, unannounced because I hadn't confirmed it yet with him. Uh, I had kind of gotten like a yeah, but I wanted to make sure, for sure, for sure. But on the 26th of May, uh, I'm gonna be streaming Ultra Street Fighter 2 when it comes out with Wooly. Of course, of course I'm streaming it with Wooly. Of course, you, you guys could have figured that out. You guys could have figured that out for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, otherwise, I'm sure, like me and Matt are always gonna be streaming more stuff, like all the time. Um, there's another game me and Wooly are gonna stream at one point, so yeah, that's it. And uh, when Police Knots starts, I'm gonna try to get Slow Beef to come on for the first while, for the first couple hours. I don't know, however long he wants to. He has a family, he has kids, you know, so it might not work out. But I'm gonna try to get Slow Beef on at some point during Police Knots too. Not for the whole thing, but just at some point for the whole thing, or at some, at some point during it. Yeah, that's it. When Sonic Unleashed? That's actually a good question. Um, 
I do promise you it is still gonna happen, but we, yeah, we just haven't, haven't addressed that yet. Um, um, is there anything else? Is there anything else I should? Is there anything else I should say? I know me and Matt are gonna stream Arms when it comes out for sure. Does Slow Beef like Dead to Rights? Is that a thing? I have no idea. But I need to I need I still need to ask him for sure. I think I only mentioned it to him briefly, but yeah. Yeah, that's it. I have nothing else to I have nothing else to say tonight. I have nothing else to say this evening. This morning it's 4 a.m. So fuck me, right? Um so, well, uh without further ado. I will bid you guys as your um, have a good. For some of you guys, have a good evening. For some of you guys, have a good morning. Uh, have a good sleepy sleeps. You know, I'm gonna go sleep. It's four in the morning. I think I'm gonna set an alarm for 12 p.m. and cross my fingers. Fuck man. Fuck man. Anyway, you guys take care. We'll get back to Anima Gate of Memories on Saturday. Tomorrow's. No shit, today's Friday. Fuck me, goddammit. Um, tomorrow, no, I shouldn't say that's gonna confuse you. On the 13th at 1 p.m., we'll be streaming Anima Gated Memories. And we're gonna get, we're gonna like cut right back to it, so it's gonna be a good time. Yeah. Oh, look, the Elgato's freaking out right on time. Anyway, take care, dudes. Have a good one. Uh, peace out. See you guys later. Sleep tight. Do whatever you want. Uh, usually I'd play you guys out with music. Uh, tonight I'm not gonna, because I wanna just, I'm gonna go hit the hat, hit the, hit the hang. And I need to manually turn it off if I play music, so. Take care, you guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.